Hello all. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to send data to Splunk via TCP port. So the data which I'm going to send is basically any file, let's say a, a log file. So I'm going to be sending from one instance to another instance. So that instance which is a sender is not a Splunk enterprise. It's just I'm going to use netcat command to send just a file. So after sending it, so the Splunk instance where the Splunk is installed is going to receive it through the TCP port 514. So if you guys prefer reading, I'll just leave the link in the description for you guys to read the path that I'm going to follow. If you guys want to watch, let's go. So I have I have two instance up and running. So which one Splunk instance is for the data receiving? So basically, the Splunk instance is containing the Splunk Enterprise software. So what I'm going to do here is SSH into this instance and I'm going to SSH into this instance. So basically this instance is just a data center so this next instance doesn't have any Splunk. So what we're going to do is SSH into this two. Splunk is installed on the opt Splunk bin. So we're gonna go sudo dot slash Splunk start. So while well, this is getting started, this is the sender. So the main thing we want is a port. So by default, the port is not being opened in TCP. So what we would suggest is going to the network or you can go like this or basically you can go by looking this navigation bar. create a firewall from here. So the firewall is saying like we're gonna use uh, 1514 in this tutorial. So it's like TCP 1514 port. So default so ingress saying like uh, the data is being injected. So this ingress is basically for the sender. Uh, sorry, not the sender, the receiver. So this is gonna be the Splunk instance. It's gonna get receiving the data so ingress so it's queue for all instances the source would be 0 .0 .0 .0. meaning any IPs can use this firewall rule so we want the TCP port saying that 514 and I think we are good to go TCP ingress queue for all instances Created. Okay, so we're gonna create another rule for the egress, meaning for the sender. This means data going outside. So CP fourteen. Instances in case destination IP will be in any IPs 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then allow the TCP 
check whether the power loan is being updated. Go here, network, network, and see that the firewall rule is it egress and is egress. Okay, this is good to go. So now that we started the Splunk, ready to go. So now we want the now we want the IP of the Splunk instance to access the GUI. So we're gonna go Splunk personal IP thousand. Credentials must be given. Then sign in. Then close. Dash below. Another. So go settings. Data input. So we want to be missing on HTTP. No oh, TCP. My bad. So yeah. So TCP is enabled. And the port number is fourteen. Let's see in the next. So the input we can select the source type. We like to load in new. TCP say logs. Yes, we want that method by IP and create by saying logs logs saving it then so let's go TCP logs and send it please now this is ready now we are going to go to the sender and we are going to install the package for sudo and install netcat I believe yes netcat ok so let's go over cd uh, so basically this is where the linux default logs Supposed to be so cool. So let's send auth log. What we're gonna do is cat say bar slash log bar slash log slash auth dot log giving a vertical bar. So you can see the netcat. Should give IP of the receiver. So yes, and port. Port log. This is good. This is sudo, I think. Sudo cat. I hope so. Okay. Now let's go back. Start searching. I think we're getting the logs. So it says the host being 34.125.176.144, which is 34.125.176.144 is our. So another data sender. As you can see, the VM instance of the name being data sender. So basically, we are sending data. From the data center instance to our Splunk instance. So, okay, there's another way to view this. If we go click into setting, indexes, and we can see our created log, custom log saying logs, and 
we have been getting 41 entries and we can also go by seeing data inputs ECB Way that you see that, yeah. So, this is how you send data from one instance to the Splunk using TCP. Thank you.